Hi, this is Carl Tannenbaum, Chief Economist for Northern Trust. It was hard for me to turn off my inner economist during a recent vacation. I was making mental notes on the labor market every time I saw signs of staffing shortages, which was often. Our favorite cherry pie bakery was closed for several days during the week for want of help. For us, that is a serious problem. I also noticed shortages of some goods. Stacks of t-shirts and tchotchkes were noticeably shorter than normal, and bicycle rental fleets were thinner. Many boats were in extended dry dock for lack of parts, and merchants described growing lead times for delivery of fresh inventory. It was clear that there remain significant production problems in the global economy. Demand is well out in front of supply at the moment. As public health restrictions lifted in many parts of the world, consumers armed with pent-up savings have been spending lustily. This has stressed capacity in many sectors. The challenges faced by restaurants have been well documented. As schools reopen and support programs for the unemployed close, though, we expect more workers to return in the months ahead. This should help service businesses keep up with their customers. But it may take longer than that to rebuild the supply of goods. China, the world's factory, has been hit with an outbreak of the Delta variant of COVID-19 and has placed parts of the country back into lockdown. Other major producers in Southeast Asia have been similarly affected. Alternative suppliers elsewhere in the world do not have the capacity to compensate. Further, the pandemic has impaired the logistics system that underpinned the just-in-time economy. Shipping containers, rail cars, and truck cabs idled by last year's slump have not yet been brought back onto line and are often stranded far from where they are needed. Operations at ports remain limited, leaving scores of ships at sea waiting for an opportunity to unload. As a result of all of this, shipping costs around the world have skyrocketed. The continued presence of bottlenecks comes at an uncomfortable time for producers and consumers as goods for this year's holiday season would normally be in transit by now. Inventories have been drawn down to very low levels and may take a long time to replenish. The resulting scarcity could mean more rapid inflation. The prices of apparel, toys, and appliances, among other goods, are rising much faster than they were prior to the pandemic. Fortunately, there is no supply chain involved when picking and eating a cherry in an orchard. It was nice to keep life simple while on vacation, but my inner economist knew that the return to reality would be much more complicated. And that's The View from here.